the clock says 9.30. That's because two hours ago, in the middle of this huge storm, our power went off, and I don't know when it's going to come back on again. There's more than one way to watch television. It's getting too dark to read now. I've read for a while. It's a really good book. But now the sky is starting to get dark. It isn't really that late. It's only about 2.30, I think. But with the storm, it makes the sky very dark. So I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing. Walt says that power is out in a huge section of this part of town. And uh, all I can do is just sit here. Well, I couldn't stand not knowing what was going on in the world, so I've taken a drive. This is a strip mall here, and every store is closed. The nice thing about being out in the car is that I have the car radio. I didn't realize how addicted I was to getting my information through the media. I haven't known all day what's going on. I just found out that snow gusts or the wind gusts have been up to 70 miles an hour at trucking, which is at Lake Tahoe. I found out that Highway 101 has been practically closed. I found out that it took an hour for somebody to drive the distance from my mother's place one mile. Uh, it's just horrendous. Who knows when the lights are going to be on? Lights closer to our house are on, closer than this strip mall. Um, Actually, it looks like the pharmacy is open over here. They must have a generator or something. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to go downtown because I tried calling the newspaper office. I worked for the newspaper. And uh, I got, no matter which number I tried, I got that the circuits were busy. So I'm going to go down and see if there's power downtown or not. Whoa, it looks like some serious wind damage. After you see this car pass, look at that. Hmm, that doesn't look very good. This is the third construction crew that I've seen, so I think they're taking care of down power limbs and they're taking care of flooded gutters. Um, actually, the houses in this area seem to have power, so at least I seem to have reached the end of the power outage area. All the shops in this mall are closed too, but the houses nearby have power, so I don't know whether these guys closed. And here's another mall that's closed. This one is way downtown, though the newspaper office seems to have lights in it. This one has a lot of flooding, I see. It's only 3.30, but it's already so dark that I'm getting candles ready for the evening. Walt's going out to look for battery-operated light of some sort. Well, it's now been about 24 hours since our power went out, and our power is still out. Fortunately, we have a gas stove. It, it lights electronically, so that doesn't work when the power is out. But if you've got this handy-dandy little tool, you can get power on the stove. With power on the stove, you can boil water. And if you can boil water and have a French press, then you can have fresh, hot coffee in the morning. That has made living with the power outage for a second day, much more palatable.